It's lights, camera, action time for the 2016 Toronto International Film Festival. We're at the opening press conference where the first slate of galas and special presentations has just been announced by the director and co-director of TIFF, Cameron Bailey and Pierce Handling. Let's take you to all the action. How are, How are you? you? Good, Good to, see to see you. So the cat's out of the bag. Yes. This is a big one. It the is. The largest number of films TIFF has probably announced. In ever, one day, in yes, yes, so that's true. So how do you feel about it? How do you feel about it? I'm a little tired, <laughs> but I'm feeling great because we've been working very hard on this, uh, me and the programming team, um, for the last several months. And um, and we're very proud of, of the lineup we've been able to put together. Now. There is a very diverse selection of films that have been announced outside of the number. Mm -hmm. The diversity is, is a hot topic um, amongst cinema lovers. So in terms of the lineup that you have accumulated, how proud are you? I'm incredibly proud that we're able to reflect the filmmaking world and I think that's important that the, there's no one country that has a monopoly on filmmaking films are made in every country in the world uh, and that's I think reflected in today's announcement and you'll see even more of that in the in the coming weeks as we announce even more films so to have for instance the the world premiere of the new Fang Zhaogang film from China he's one of China's greatest filmmakers he's called the Spielberg of China his world premiere is happening here uh, with a film called I am not Madame Bovary uh, Chang Er another Chinese filmmaker is making um, his premiere of, of the wasted times here in Toronto with Zhang Ziyi, great Chinese actress. Konkana Sen Sharma, who is a terrific actress, is making her directorial debut uh, with a film called The Death and the Gunj here in Toronto. Um, we've got films from all over the world, from more countries, I think, than we've ever had uh, in the festival before. And a more, um, I think, a, a, a wider range of stories as well. Um, that's not something that we set out to do by design. It's more that we wanted to really pay closer attention to the stories that filmmakers were showing us mm -hmm. and making sure that um, our audience uh, could see themselves up on screen. Now talk to us about the opening night and the closing night films mm -hmm. and those couldn't be further apart in terms <laughs> of context. They are very <laughs> different uh, movies uh, but both really strong. Closing night film um, is called The Edge of Seventeen by Kelly Freeman Craig. She's a discovery for us. She's an, a new filmmaker making her feature debut um, and uh, she's got a terrific story and a terrific cast here in uh, Haley Steinfeld and Woody Harrelson. Um, and, uh, and then the opening night film, Magnificent Seven, we are thrilled about this as well. Um, this is the new film from Antoine Foucault who's been here twice before, made Training Day with Denzel Washington, made The Equalizer with Denzel Washington yeah. and now he's got Denzel back in Magnificent Seven but with this incredible cast um, that includes includes Ethan Hawke and Lee Byung-hun, this terrific Korean star, uh, and Chris Pratt. Yeah. Now in terms of actors from India or South Asia, mm -hmm. um, there have been programming announcements today and you have Priyanka mm -hmm. on the Instagram jury That's for, the right. short, uh, yes. for the Instagram films. Yeah. So can you speak about how South Asian cinema has evolved over the time that you've been programming the festival sure. and what this year holds? Um, you know, I was thrilled when I first started um, back as a programmer here uh, 10 years ago to have um, uh, Kabi Alvad and Akena come to the festival and have a big Bollywood star-driven movie come. In that time, in that, that uh, 10 years, we've shown other big Bollywood films. We've shown independent um, art house films from India, from all across India, the wide range of the, the filmmaking that happens uh, from the north to the south of the country. And you're going to see more of that in the coming announcements as well. The, today, I'm excited that Konkana has a new film. Um, and she's always been one of my favorite actresses, and I'm, I'm thrilled to see her making her directorial debut. And what about Mira Nair's film? Oh, yes, Mira, yes. of course. So yeah. she's, Mira Nair's Queen of Katwe yeah. is, I think, a passion project for her based on a true story. She shot it in her native Uganda. She's got incredible actors in Lupita Nyong'o, fresh off her Academy Award, and David Oyelowo in this movie as well. So that's a, a thrilling world premiere for us too. So the cat's out of the bag for TIFF 2016. So how's, how's, how are you feeling about it? Pretty strong. We announced a big, big lineup of films today. I think the most we've ever announced before. Over 60 titles, very exciting. We're opening with Magnificent Seven. We're closing with The Edge of Seventeen. There's a lot of other exciting films in there, some Canadian directors, Denis Villeneuve with his new film Arrival, some other big directors, Rob Reiner, Oliver Stone with their work. So it's just, I mean, I could kind of go on in terms of the, the lineup of people. I think there'll be something for everybody in this lineup, to be honest, and some very serious films, some political dramas, there's some funny films, there's some comedies, there's some thrillers, there's some, you know, it's just, it's the diversity is what I love. 
And so we're, this is the tip of the iceberg, to be honest. We've probably got another, got another 200 so films to announce. So um, it's just, I think it's, it's the launch. Everyone gets excited about September, gets excited to look forward to what's going to be here at the festival. So yeah, it's fantastic. Now this is probably the biggest number of films you've announced to begin the festival. Does that show the level of confidence you have in the programming that's to follow? I think so, yeah. We're just very well organized this year, very well prepared. Sometimes it's just the way the festival comes together. I think people now want to be in Toronto, so we're often seeing the films earlier than we saw them before. So the programming process starts March. You know, we're actually seeing, starting to see, well, we're actually seeing films earlier than that, but some of the major films for major positioning, we're starting to see earlier than we did before. I think it's, we're, we're you know, in, in the sights of all of the studios, many of the distributors, many of the filmmakers, producers, they think about Toronto in terms of um, where they're going to launch their film. So that, I think, just allows us to get a bead on so many of the films earlier than we usually have. Now, what do you have to say about the job Cameron's done with the programming of the festival and the announcements we've heard so far? You made mention to it at the press conference as well. No, it's obviously a big group effort. Um, there's a huge team that gets put together. There's about 20 programmers who program from around the world. Cameron's the artistic director of the festival. He's done a great job in terms of pulling this year's festival together. He's now been doing the festival as the artistic director for about 10 years. So with that kind of experience, just you become very savvy about your choices, about, you know, you have so many wonderful contacts from around the world. So I think everyone's done a fantastic job, but special kudos go to Cameron. What can we expect or look forward to going forward in terms of the Canadian press conference and the contents that, uh, the films that are to follow? I'm always excited about the Canadian press conference for all kinds of reasons. I mean, we're so, we're, we're a Toronto-based festival, we're a Canadian-based festival, and I take great pride in premiering the work of so many Canadian filmmakers, young, middle-aged filmmakers and older filmmakers. You know, it's just the core and key of what we do here at TIFF. So that press conference, it's local, you know, everyone's there. They're excited about it. It's their friends and it's them and their families. So it's, there's a certain energy in that room for that press conference, which is terrific. Thank <laughs> you.